Consciousness Conference. Let your pain be the light that guides you to the shores of freedom and peace. I can't let you slip mm -hmm. away because you're the great one. What I want you to know is always have in mind that that's just a stepping stone. Learn what you gotta learn from that former slave owner so that you can fire yourself and hire yourself the same day. was very important for me because it created a lack of a ceiling in my mind as far as what I could do and what I could become. Now the system of white supremacy definitely exists and that system will be destroyed the moment we decide to come together and unite with one another. Brothers and sisters, men and women. As Africans need to know who we are, where we came from, the fact that our history did start a hundred years ago. We weren't found in the, in the forest. So that's part of that, the, the ignorance of our own identity. We gotta start thinking a little bit deeper and broader about our realities. Um, we're so engulfed in the everyday work, school, paying bills, dropping the children off at school, cheerleader practice, basketball practice, what am I gonna wear today, what's for dinner tomorrow, and all those things granted are important, but there is a much deeper and broader purpose for us being here. Once you get on a certain mental and spiritual wavelength, you can manifest whatever you want in your life at will. In, in terms of wealth, that black folk only own one half or one percent of the wealth in this nation. You cannot compete from Boston to San Diego, only one half or one percent. Don't waste your damn time unless you're gonna start getting some money. The biggest power in this country is economic power. That's money power, that's it. Not voting, vote ain't worth a quarter. I'm telling you, I shouldn't say that, but I read the campaign. Vote is only important if somebody has promised you something and they understand the nature of politics. Politics is a very simple premise. Remember this, politics came into existence, as you know it today, in the 1500s. What was politics? Policy was based on a very simple premise. It's called quid pro quo, something for something. Everybody, everybody makes promises to deliver something to anybody except black folk. Black folk never demand anything from your politicians. You don't demand a damn thing, that's exactly what you get, nothing. You don't vote for anything, anybody, any candidate, any political party, unless they commit and tell me specifically and solely what you're gonna do for black folk.